everybody, this is David Cook aka DC3. What I'm basically doing is I'm starting a series called The Process where I want to help out my fellow independent artists and just kind of like anybody that's new into this and also anybody that's possibly been doing it for a little while and may have a couple little tips to help you as you're going forward in the journey of trying to become a successful independent artist and that is whatever it means to you. You know, for some of us like me, it's being a touring artist, man. My goal is to be a world touring artist, fucking hitting the stage in every country, having a great time, making memories, having great experiences, and really and just inspiring everybody. So whatever it is to you is, you know, it's actually very critical that you understand that in the beginning, you know? So that way you know kind of like, where are you trying to get to? You know what I mean? Like, where do you want to go? Like, you just having the goal of being an artist is so broad. You kind of want to narrow it down and really like focus, you know what I mean? Like you really want to have an area where you can focus and say, okay, my goal is to be here. Five years from now, I want to be touring artists. I want to have had toured Europe and, um, you know, the United States at least twice, like whatever your goal may be. And for you, it might just be, you don't really care to tour. You might just want to have songs on Spotify that are getting regular listens every month. And you might just want to build a fan base online and you might not really care to actually go and um, tour and do shows. And every artist is different, you know? So it's going to be up to you. But basically I'm making this video series and it's just going to be the process in which you would need to take as an independent artist. And, you know, obviously this process can be flipped around and you can do it a bunch of different ways. However, this is just what I've come up with and what I feel like is a solid game plan to help you take your take yourself to the next level and so the first thing in the process is just understanding why you're doing it right so like when I got into making music I can sit here honestly now and say at 24 years old when I was 16 I wasn't thinking about things on the same level that I am now okay when I was 16 years old I was thinking about oh I want to get into music because I want to fuck a bunch of different women and I want to just like you know all these things that like really weren't deep true core things to who I am today, right? So like today now I want to make music because I want to inspire people, right? I want to enlighten people. I want people to change. I want people to be happy. Like I, I want to inspire that, you know, in the world and, and I want people to follow what they're like what they love and what they're passionate about. And you know and I'm not saying that I totally believe this is a little side tangent in that phrase, you know, follow your passion because sometimes that shit might not actually give you a happy, you know, fulfilling life, you know? It might not actually be something that you should turn into a career. So, I mean, that's also something you need to distinguish is, is, is it something that you really want to give a lot of time to, to the, to the level that you want to make it a career? You know, that's something that I also struggle with from 16 to where I'm at now at 24. You know, it's something that you just got to understand. So really understand when you're getting into it, why you're getting into it. Why do you want to make music? Are you making it really for, for yourself on a deeper level or, or, or for people on a deeper level? Or is it just something that's trying to, you're trying to boost your ego and you're trying to get an ego boost from people listening to your music or sharing your music? Like, you gotta really understand these things because as you get older or as you progress through a career, these are things that you're gonna need to, that you're gonna consider or that are just gonna come up, you know? And the fans that rock with you when you're making this music that maybe isn't really centered in who you are is kind of what you're gonna feel maybe like compelled to have to grasp to as you continue to propel through your career. So it's just something you should consider now, be mindful of it, and just be aware, man. Be aware of what you're putting into the world, you know? Like, people are gonna listen to your music and it's gonna influence them if you have enough. You know, if people really look up to you, they're, you're influencing them, right? So anything that you say, you're influencing in the world. So you just wanna make sure that when you're speaking, you're giving your message, you're giving your truth into the world as you would like to see it. So with that said, that is the number one thing I believe getting started in music honestly any probably like any career where you're in the public eye or where you're an influencer where you're a leader just like understanding why you know like why are you doing it and then understanding what you're trying to like what are you trying to say what is your message right what is your purpose I'm sure you if you're in any realm of self-development you've heard that before but really understanding that you know really understanding that so, um, again, this is David Cook, a.k.a. DC3. I'm logging off from this first video. I do have a series coming. I have about 9 to 10 different 
little subtopics in that in the process. So um, yeah, look forward to seeing those videos, man. I'll, I'll have a link to my SoundCloud below if you guys want to check out my music. I would love it. I'd appreciate it. Any uh, feedback, of course, is always appreciated. Um, and I will be putting some videos up on here soon of the process in which I go about making music, what programs I use, how I build my ne network of people in the local area, producers, artists, DJs, um, just a, like a lot of stuff, man. I'm just going to put everything that I've learned out here um, because, you know, maybe somebody else can use that information and it'll help propel them forward. And um, at the end of the day, I believe I'll, I'll always believe in helping others, you know, attain what they want to attain. So. That's why I'm doing it, man. So I hope that y'all have a great day, great week. And uh, just go out and live life, man. Have fun. Enjoy the moment because you just never know, man. So live a great life. Y'all see me on the next video. I should have it up in the next week. Peace.